Good morning, folks. The sun is stirring. The earthquakes continue. We've got news on galactic nuclei, a look at weather, and a correction from yesterday's show. First, let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were not so calm. There are surges of plasma generated within the bright active regions and extending hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from those sunspots. Very angry. We are indeed seeing a slight rise in solar flaring, but the real action there is in the plasma surging around the corona. There are numerous filaments surrounding those sunspots as well, which don't appear to be anything scary at the moment, but the leading little guy down there has new friends to the north and they are a negative influence on him. Ha! Huh? Meanwhile, the trailers have size but lack significant magnetic complexity. We are coming out of one coronal hole stream in the solar wind, and we're about to head into another. Expect this dark region's wind to hit Earth within about 24 hours or so, and until then the seismic watch has ramped up a bit and it began overnight with a 6.4 blot echo 100 kilometers beneath Fiji, a big one that thankfully nobody felt much. Top story is about the dots actually connected to it. So in studying active galactic nuclei, they are investigating the power of dust and gases to block both the energy signatures of the galactic center coming out, but also the infalling material that would further initiate stellar ignition in the middle. The dust and gas are excellent absorbers of infrared and x-ray, which is why they chose those scopes to look, but the behavior and structure of the dust cloud is not so chaotic, part of a flowing cycle of the inner galaxy, and it's the same type of dust that made them miss 95% of the electric currents at Enceladus. What are they missing way out there? Quick correction. The story was real yesterday, but I gave the wrong link. Australia wheat forecasts are even lower than what I accidentally showed you yesterday, which was actually a year-old article. It was good info, but I grabbed the wrong link yesterday. My apologies. We've got your wind maps, what's in the air, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.